Hi guys, Miss Francis here. In this video, we're going to discuss a technique called the polymerase chain reaction, or PCR. When the source of DNA is small, insufficient, or impure, the polymerase chain reaction, or PCR, can be used to quickly amplify or basically make Xerox copies of a piece of DNA without needing the entire cell. So for example, if I am at the scene of a crime, but the criminal cleaned up behind themselves, leaving only a small fragment of DNA, PCR can be used to amplify that fragment of DNA and catch the criminal. So basically, what does PCR involve? So I take the fragment of DNA and I incubate it in a test tube with a special type of DNA polymerase called TAC polymerase, a supply of nucleotides, and short pieces of single-stranded DNA that'll be used as the primer. So here are my starting materials. I've got a special type of DNA polymerase called TAC polymerase. I've got two primers and I have got a supply of nucleotides. So here I've got my targeted sequence of DNA. And PCR basically involves three steps, heating, cooling, and then replicating. So heating involves heating this sample to about 95 degrees Celsius. And the sample is placed in this machine called a thermocycler, which will do this heating and cooling for us. Um, so basically it's heated to about 95 degrees Celsius and that breaks the hydrogen bonds to separate the DNA strands. And then the thermocycler is going to cool the sample to about between 50 and 60 degrees Celsius. And what that does is it allows the primers to hydrogen bond to that separated DNA. It's sometimes called the annealing of the primers. And then the third step involves reheating the sample to about 72 degrees Celsius, which activates this special type of DNA polymerase called TAC polymerase. And now that TAC polymerase adds nucleotides to the separated pieces of DNA <clears throat> Um, at the end of the three prime end of each primer. So by the time we end cycle three, I have two replicated fragments that contain just our fragment of DNA with the targeted sequence until once I get to about 30 cycles, I've got billions of copies of just this targeted sequence of DNA. So PCR is a three-step cycle involving heating, cooling, and replication. And really the key to PCR was the discovery of this type of DNA polymerase called TAC polymerase. And it was isolated from a bacteria living in a hot springs. The reason why this discovery was so important was because this TAC polymerase can withstand the heat that's needed to separate the DNA strands at the start of each cycle. Otherwise, it would be denatured if it couldn't withstand this heat. So how is the segment of DNA that you want to amplify with PCR targeted? It's the primers that determine the DNA sequence that's amplified because they, um, have a complementarity to the sequences that bracket the targeted sequence. Um, now, PCR was devised in 1985, but since then it has um, had applications in various areas of society and science. For example, we were able to use PCR to amplify um, fragments of DNA which were found in a 40,000 year old woolly mammoth. Um, it has been used at crimes. Um, it has been used to help diagnose genetic disorders given DNA from a single embryonic cell. DNA of viral genes from cells infected with difficult to detect viruses such as HIV. Um, PCR has also been used to sequence mitochondrial DNA so that people can study their maternal lineage. So as you can see, PCR has had a vast variety of applications within science and within society.